Hey everyone, this is Kristen Sherry here, coming at you with another episode of Maximize 365, a year of actionable tips to transform your life. So, this episode today plagues most of us, and it's about judging yourself. Judging yourself. We are our worst critics sometimes. So, Louise L. Hay said, remember, you've been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. <laughs> Isn't that so true? You've criticized yourself for years and how's that working out for you? <laughs> so I do have an episode in um, an entry in the book on judging others and that's on page 144. I'm probably going to get interrupted by my five-year-old at some point during this video. And I'm just going to keep rolling because, you know, I have a one-take policy. One take. Unless I did something really gross like sneeze, I, I wouldn't want you to have to watch that. Okay, so in the Judging Others entry, I share how our judgments are based on these arbitrary rules and standards that we set. They are quite arbitrary in many cases, and we create rules for ourselves too, not just other people. So we can't stop judging people completely because some of that process is just really autonomic. It's not something we're doing intentionally. We just realize we're like, oh, staring at that person and, and leveling all these judgments. It's not really conscious sometimes. So our goal should be to try to lessen the instances of beating ourselves up. So we can shift from thoughts of guilt to becoming aware of when we're judging ourselves. So when we observe self-judgment, we can release it and change the mental channel without attaching guilt to our behavior. So sometimes I'll just monitor my thoughts a couple times a day. Like, how am I feeling? What is my body telling me? And am I saying something negative? So I'm training for a half marathon right now, and sometimes I'll judge myself and say, oh, you know, you don't have enough experience. You're going to do terrible and all these things. You're not going to be able to make it. I'm just like, what is up? Like, I'm training. I'm going through a proven program. So I'll try to, thanks for coming out, but I don't need your opinion. So here's your idea for action. I want you to practice pinpointing and observing your judgments about yourself. What are the things that you're judging yourself about? And then redirect those judgmental thoughts with love, grace, and compassion. So when you have a judgmental thought, the first thing I want you to do is ask, does this thought come, up, come from a place of love? No? Let's move on from the thought. Like, really? Really? Are you going to listen to the judgment of other people who aren't coming from a place of love, who don't have your best interest? So why should you give audience for any of your thoughts that don't come from a place of love? And the second thing I want you to do is I want you to play with the thought and flip it around. So before the thought was, oh, I was so lazy today. I'm so undisciplined. I got nothing done. After you say, you flip it, the after is, I wanted to accomplish more today. What got in the way? What can I change tomorrow to reach my goals? See how much more constructive that is? I love playing around with thoughts and flipping them around because the words that we use to ourselves and other people matter. So tell me, do you judge yourself? And what are some of the things that you put in place or that you use to try and be kinder to yourself? I hope this was helpful. I hope you really try these things because I'm telling you, I have shifted to a place where I rarely judge myself now. It's because I'm trying something new and big and scary with the half marathon that, that they creeps in a little. But on a regular day-to-day -day basis, I, I rarely am, am judgmental of myself because of these types of, of mind strategies that I use. So don't forget to subscribe because we're going to talk about self-actualization in the next episode. Take care.